Hello developers, and welcome to this video on model choice for Amazon Bedrock. Now, while model choice continues to be a strength when building generative AI applications on AWS, we know it can be a challenge to sort through the various model families and build a clear understanding of the strengths and use cases for models from major providers. In this video, we're going to be diving into two models from the French AI startup Mistral AI. Founded in 2023 by three researchers, Mistral AI has been developing foundation models with a mission of democratizing artificial intelligence through open source, efficient, and innovative AI models, products, and solutions. With that background, let's dive in. Before jumping into the model details, let's first talk about model deployment options with Amazon Bedrock. Most folks will be familiar with the serverless approach where Amazon Bedrock offers a fully managed service offering foundation models through a single API. Now, again, there's no infrastructure to manage and you can securely integrate and deploy generative AI capabilities into your applications using other AWS services you're already familiar with. Now, with Bedrock serverless deployment, developers can access models from leading providers, as is the case with Mistral and others. However, for developers that want to experiment with smaller emerging models from other providers, the Amazon Bedrock Marketplace enables them to discover, test, and use over 100 popular specialized foundation models alongside the current selection of industry-leading models. The deployment experience on Amazon Bedrock Marketplace allows you to select your desired number of instances, instance types, and define your own auto-scaling policies which dynamically adjusts the number of instances provisioned for a model in response to changes in your workload. So you can meet the demands of your workload and optimize for costs. There's no perfect path for developers building generative AI applications on AWS. You can combine traditional Bedrock serverless with the models from Bedrock Marketplace to build the right solution for your use case. Now in the console here, we can see um, the Bedrock service page. And when we navigate over here on the left to model catalog, um, there's a variety of different models we can see here. Specifically for the Bedrock Marketplace, you'll see under Model Collection, there's a checkbox for Bedrock Marketplace, which filters through all of the available ones here. And then if we go in and just say Mistral, we can see some of the Mistral models here. You can also filter down on the left here under the model uh, providers where Mistral is. And I'll just go ahead and show that here. So these are the uh, available models on Mistral for Bedrock Marketplace. Um, and that's kind of just to highlight where these are um, located within the console. OK, let's get into the models. Mistral AI offers 12 different models to choose from across the Bedrock serverless and Bedrock Marketplace. Today, we'll be highlighting two models that stand out from this provider, Pixtral Large and Mistral Small 3.0. Starting with Pixtral Large, this is Mistral's 124 billion parameter open weights multimodal model, meaning it combines advanced image understanding with powerful text processing capabilities. It excels in document analysis, visual reasoning, and natural image comprehension, while maintaining text capabilities inherited from Mistral Large 2. Pixtral Large enables enterprises to process complex visual text tasks with accuracy and efficiency. There are four major use cases Pixtra Large excels at. First, multilingual OCR and reasoning over complex figures. Second, image captioning and classification. Third, chart understanding and analysis. And fourth, image to code. Pixtra Large is also multilingual by design, featuring dozens of languages supported, including English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Dutch, and Polish. So there's a lot to play with there. And with a 128K context window uh, that accepts a minimum of 30 high resolution images through the Bedrock SDK, Pixel Large is a powerful addition for long context applications that require both advanced textual and visual comprehension. This model is available for service deployment with Bedrock. Moving on to Mistral Small 3.0, this is Mistral's latency-optimized 24 billion parameter model coming in two flavors, a pre-trained Mistral Small 24B base and instruction-tuned checkpoint, Mistral Small 24B instruct. There are four major use cases with Mistral Small 3.0 and where it excels. The first, document summarization. Next, conversation assistant, so quick, accurate responses when they're critical. This is a good use case for that. Third, agentic workflow development. And fourth, language translation. 
Mistral Small 3 can be fine-tuned to specialize in specific domains, creating highly accurate subject matter experts. This is particularly useful in fields like legal advice, medical diagnostics, and technical support, where domain-specific knowledge is essential. This model is available for deployment with Bedrock Marketplace, meaning developers will have the choice from various supported EC2 instance types to host model inference. Now let's move into some demos presented by my peer, Renu, to see what the models can do in practice. Hello, and welcome to this demo, where today I'll be showing you how to use some of the Mistral AI models in Amazon Bedrock. As you can see, I'm logged into the Amazon Bedrock console, and I'm going to navigate to the model catalog to see the models that are available. I'm going to narrow this down just to the models that are available in the serverless mode, because I'm going to be using this in the chat playground. So looking at the serverless models, I'm going to navigate down to the providers to see my Mistral AI models, and there are five available. In this particular scenario, I'm going to be using the model to process an image, and I want to be able to take advantage of the text and vision capabilities of these models. So when I narrow that down, um, now there's only one model from Mistral AI, and that's Pixel Large. So this is the model that, that I'm going to be using for this particular use case. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the, the playground. I'll select the model here. Again, selecting the Mistral AI model, the Pixel Large. Uh, I'm just going to be using the default configurations. Let's go ahead and choose the image that I wanted to process. Now you'll see that it comes up with a set of images. I'm going to use this rainfall map, which is what I want the, the model to process. Okay, I load that in, and then my prompt, I'm going to be asking the model to analyze the image and summarize the rainfall for the area, but also to highlight any parts of the city that might be areas of concern for flooding. And with this, what I wanted to do is recognize both the visual elements in the image as well as the text in the legend um, to understand the difference, the color coding, you know, areas of high rainfall versus lower uh, areas, and to be able to summarize all of that in its processing the image. So it is done with it, uh, a little over 10 seconds. Something to note, also the metrics, we do capture input tokens and output tokens, something to consider when you're looking at optimizing the uh, model for your particular use case, uh, number of tokens and the cost per token is uh, will be something that you want to consider in addition to the latency and the quality of outputs. So looking at the uh, summary, and I want to bring up the image that I had submitted. It has uh, recognized that this is the uh, Houston area with the highest rainfall amounts, uh, excess of four inches in the uh, western area, which is the Galleria. I identified areas with lower rainfall and um, uh, identified the areas for flooding risk again west of the Galleria. The Garden Oaks area, which is this northwest area, uh, Spring and Kingwood, where some of the more heavy rain has fallen out here. And then also identified the the roadways on this map uh, the 290 corridor northwest, uh, I-10, and then the Texas Beltway, uh, which also ha is in the uh, the rain zone. So I think it did a pretty nice job of summarizing the image and, again, uh, demonstrated some pretty nice capabilities for visual um, understanding, visual comprehension of the images, recognizing both the text and the, uh, the color uh, constructs as well as the map. Well, that's a wrap on Mistral AI and the two models we've highlighted here, we hope this deeper dive helps you discover more models from leading providers while understanding when they're a best fit depending on your use case. Let us know which videos you'd like us to cover in the future and stay tuned for other videos where we'll cover models from Anthropic, Meta, and Amazon. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.